Hello students, today we are going to learn new type that is a problem based on time, distance and speed. Okay. So first example is a boat covers 32 km upstream and 36 km downstream in 7 hours. Okay. Also it covers 40 km upstream and 48 km downstream in 9 hours. Find the speed of boat in still water and that of the stream ok so we have to find the speed of boat in still water and speed of stream ok so here we have to suppose that speed of boat in still water be x kilometer per hour and speed of stream b y kilometer per hour ok speed of boat in still water that is x kilometer per hour and speed of stream b y kilometer per hour ok now see here when boat goes upstream ok upstream means this is the stream suppose upstream means opposite to the direction of stream ok suppose stream is flowing in this direction so upstream means opposite to the direction of stream ok so we have to take upstream speed because stream <coughs> opposes the suppose here boat is there ok so stream opposes the speed of boat ok so upstream speed that we have to take x minus y kilometer per hour ok speed of boat is x and speed of stream is y speed of boat in still water is x and speed of stream be y when boat flows in upstream direction means like this way Okay, in this direction, so speed of stream opposes the speed of boat. So therefore, we have to take minus sign. So upstream speed that is x minus y kilometer per hour. Similarly, when boat goes downstream, okay, means in this direction. So here. If boat goes downstream, then speed of stream, then uh, or we can say that boat and speed of stream that is uh, goes in same direction. Okay, so if they are in same direction, speed of stream with boat that is x plus y. So upstream downstream speed that is x plus y kilometer per hour ok because boat is with the downstream or uh, direction of stream ok so we can say that downstream speed is equal to x plus y kilometer per hour ok now we have upstream speed x minus y kilometer per hour and downstream speed that is x plus y kilometer per hour ok now keep in mind this always upstream speed that is x minus y this minus sign is to given to speed of stream every time we have to give it to speed of stream ok don't give here speed of boat because speed of boat in still water that is always positive here speed of stream opposes the speed of boat therefore we have to give minus sign so upstream speed is x minus y and downstream speed is x plus y ok now by using first condition it goes 32 km upstream so time required that is a speed is equal to distance upon time so time is equal to distance upon speed so upstream distance 32 km given so 32 divided by upstream speed that is x minus 1 plus 36 km downstream so 36 divided by x plus 1 is equal to total time is given 7 hours so is equal to 7 so this is equation 1
Similarly, second equation is given: 40 km upstream and 48 km downstream in nine hours. So, 40 distance divided by speed. 40 km upstream. So, upstream speed is x minus 1 plus 48 km downstream. So, 48 upon x plus y is equal to 9. Now we have to solve these two equations and we have to find x and y. So first we have to suppose that let 1 upon x minus y is equal to u and 1 upon x plus y is equal to v. So equation is 32u plus 36v is equal to 7. This is equation number 3. And this one is 40u plus 48v is equal to 9. This is equation 4. Okay. Now, these two equations we can solve by any method. Okay. If you are finding LCM of 32 and 40 or 36, 48, okay, which one is suitable? Okay, we will try by using cross multiplication method. For that, I am shifting this 7 and 9 this side. So, this equations we can write 32u plus 36v minus 7 is equal to 0. Because for cross multiplication method, we have to write equation in the form ax plus by plus c. Okay. So, 32u plus 36v minus 7 is equal to 0. And second equation 40u plus 48v minus 9 is equal to 0. Okay. Now we can use cross multiplication method. So for that I am doing this one. Okay. Okay. Now we know that your variables are u and v so u divided by b1 c2 minus c1 b2 is equal to v divided by c1 a2 minus c2 a1 is equal to 1 divided by a1 b2 minus a2 b1 okay now u divided by b1 value of b1 is 48 so 48 multiply by c2 c2 is sorry b1 is b1 is 36 so 36 multiply by c2 is minus 9 minus c1 is minus 7 and b2 is 48 is equal to v divided by c1 that is minus 7 a2 40 minus c2 minus 9 and a1 that is a 32 is equal to 1 divided by a1 b2 so 32 into 48 minus 40 into 36 okay now if you simplify this u divided by this is minus 6 27 plus 5 32 so minus 324 plus 7 8 are 56 6 5 7 4 are 28 plus 5 33 is equal to v divided by 7 0 28 minus 280 plus 9 2 are 18 9 3 are 27 plus 1 is equal to 1 divided by now this we have to do 32 into 48 8 to the 16 8 3 is 24 plus 1 25 plus 4 to the 8 4 3 is 12 so it is 1536 1536 minus 14 to 36 that is a 4 6 is 24 2 4 3 is 12 plus 2 14 okay now u divided by 324 minus 324 plus 336 that is a 12 
v divided by this is eight is equal to one divided by we subtract this this is a six then uh, thirteen minus four nine this is zero okay so u divided by twelve is equal to v divided by eight is equal to one by ninety six okay now if we put if we solve this u by twelve is equal to one by ninety six or v by eight is equal to one by ninety six and okay so u is equal to twelve by ninety six and v is equal to eight by ninety six okay so that is u is equal to one by eight Well, it's a ninety-six, and v is equal to one by twelve. Okay. Now, again, we have to substitute this because u is equal to one upon x minus y, and v is equal to one upon x plus y. So we have two equations: x minus y is equal to eight. If we take reciprocal. So x minus y is equal to eight, and by using this, x plus y is equal to twelve. Okay. So if we solve this, we got x is equal. We will get x is equal to ten, and y is equal to two. Okay. So x is equal to ten means speed of boat in still water. Speed of boat in still water is 10 km per hour, and speed of stream that is a 2 km per hour. Okay, understand this? So first suppose that speed of boat in still water x. And speed of stream y. So upstream speed is x plus x minus y. Downstream speed is x plus y. Okay. And then form equations and solve it. Okay. Now we will take second example. Okay. Second example is x takes three hours more than y to walk thirty kilometer. But if x doubles his pace, pace means speed. But if x doubles his pace, he is ahead of y by one and half hours. Find the speed of walking. Okay. So first we have to suppose that speed of x is equal to x kilometer per hour. Speed of y is equal to y kilometer per hour. Okay. Then For completing 30 kilometer, so time required to cover 30 kilometer is equal to 30 by x. Time required to cover 30 kilometer for x is equal to 30 by x. Similarly, time required. To cover 30 kilometer for y is equal to 30 by y. Okay, that is the distance upon speed is equal to time. So time required to cover 30 kilometer is equal to 30 by x for first person that is x and for second person for y it is equal to 30 by y. Okay, now this is the time. Okay, so what is given by using first condition? X takes three hours more than Y to walk thirty kilometers. So, from first condition, we can write equation in this way: X takes three hours more. So, thirty by X that is the time required to cover thirty kilometers for X. So, X takes Three hours more than y. Okay, so 30 by x is equal to this is time required for x. 
to cover 30 km so x takes 3 hours more than y so 30 by x is equal to 3 plus 30 by y so if we subtract this here so, so 30 by x minus 30 by y is equal to 3 if we divide it by 3 we will get equation is 10 by x minus 10 by y is equal to 1 this is equation 1 ok similarly second but if x doubles his space so if x doubles his space then speed of x becomes 2x ok then speed of x is equal to 2x kilometer per hour ok now x increasing his speed ok so time required to cover 30 km distance that is means x required less time ok than y so how much less time he is required that is one and a half hours because what is given if x doubles his space he is ahead of y by one and a half hours ok means difference between x and y that is a one and a half hours ok but whose time is more uh, in second condition that is a y because x increasing speed so speed increases time decreases ok so if x doubles his space then x require less time than y so x will from second condition that is a 30 by y minus 30 by 2x because now speed is 2x so 30 by y minus 30 by 2x is equal to 1 integer 1 by 2 ok because x uh, x doubles in space means speed of x is 2x kilometer per hour ok so difference between time of x and y to cover 30 km is one and half hours ok x increases his speed so time decreases so this quantity is smaller than this so we have equation 30 by y minus 30 by 2x is equal to 1 integer 1 by 2 so if we simplify this 30 by y minus 30 by 2x is equal to 3 by 2 ok if we divide it by 3 so 10 by 1 minus 10 by 2x is equal to 1 by 2 so this is equation 2 now if we simplify or if we solve this 1 and 2 then so solving 1 and 2 we get so see here this is plus 10 by 1 this is minus 10 by 1 we will get cancelled now here what is remain 10 by x this is positive and this minus 10 upon 2x ok is equal to 1 plus 1 by 2 ok so here what is remain if we make the same denominator so 20 minus 10, uh, 10 upon 2x is equal to 3 by 2 so it is 20 minus 10 10 upon 2x is equal to 3 by 2 this 2 will get cancelled so x is equal to 10 by 3 x is equal to 10 by 3 km per hour ok now if you put x is equal to 10 by 3 in any one equation so here I am putting in equation 1 so equation 1 is 10 by x minus 10 by y is equal to 1 so if you put 10 by 3 here so 10 divided by 10 by 3 minus 10 by y is equal to 1 so this 10 will get cancelled 1 by 3 minus 10 by y is equal to 1 so 1 by 3 minus 1 is equal to 10 by y so here what is given minus sorry 3 by 1 no? it is 1 by 3 3 by 1 or 3 so 3 minus 1 that is a 2 is equal to 10 by y y is equal to 5 km per hour ok so
so speed of x is n by 3 km per hour and speed of y is 5 km per hour okay so for more revision you can solve example in worksheet okay